So we're here to celebrate uh, Manflight's 30th anniversary. So in 1985, we built a facility to test avionics and mission systems and immerse the pilot in a warfare environment. And we're still doing that today, 30 years later. The history here was one of uh, doing things that people thought weren't possible, whether it was um, motion-based video or computing environments or linking together disparate systems that had never worked together before. And they always were able to do a phenomenal job here. We'll call it four miles to push over. It's just unbelievable to see the technologies that have been employed here, always looking for the next big innovation that they can latch on to. So the name Man Flight Simulator says it all, because it really was designed to bring a pilot into the loop in a warfare environment that he can't get anywhere else. So he can come and fly in a threat environment of today or a threat environment of 20 or 30 years from now. So you get everything from testing his system, his hardware, to testing him and testing how he reacts. We're looking at total war fighting and how all these systems can come together in a systems to systems environment. And the manned flight simulation facility is a great one for showing us how these various systems work together. By being linked to facilities all around the country and sometimes across the world, fleet battle exercises, we're able to get the user directly involved in what we're doing. And the user is able to take those various systems and see how they work together and what works and what doesn't work. Ready to go? All right, let's go ahead and climb, maintain, climb level 220. What it means is that we, we never see anything for the first time out live. It's always, we experience it here, we react to it here, we test it. We look at all the worst case scenarios and make sure they don't happen. And then we look for the scenarios that aren't so great that may can happen and we train the pilots to react to those accordingly. So our job is to make sure we're never surprised. I never enjoyed a job so much as the one I had here. And I mean, I, I work up in Maine now, I write software for the insurance industry. Believe me, no comparison. I'm the voice of the Terrain Awareness Warning System. I mean, I've actually saved some lives, which I think is just incredible. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. One of the incredible advantages of having it at Pax River has been the presence of the test pilot school, the airborne testers, and the flying community that's been specially trained to bring out the capability from these new aircraft and modified older aircraft. And having them here, they can go right from the live aircraft to the simulation facility to the environments where we're testing things that have never been done. You know, for instance, weapons experiments that you can't do with live ordnance has been a great synergy, unique here at Patuxent River, but also as they connect it to facilities all over the country.